Alright guys, so welcome to a video, it's about Substance Painter 1.6, and we're giving Edward that weird dude from Assassin's Creed 4, you know, that waste of a game that was repetitive and boring, scars, just by going like this. And I'm going to show you how. So first thing you need is a good alpha, and right now... We have the veins from ZBrush to work with. So you're going to import it by going import image in the project and selecting the veins.psd. That will put it in here and search for it. And then let's build a brush. You're going to need to create a layer. It's going to be in the part where you have the face, of course. So here's his head. And Make sure we're starting fresh here, shall we? First, set your base color. We're going to want red, of course. Then, set your alpha. Drag, drop. You're going to need to set your height. It's going to need to be negative not plus. So choose negative. You're going to need to set your roughness to be plus because you don't want too much shine and your metallic needs to be zero. Now depending on what size you want, set the size brush and click. But make sure you'll get what you want. tear his face apart. We could ugly him up if we wanted to. And that's the fun part. Now, if you want a different type of look for all these scars, let's do this. the height and click like that and you can give him veins. Now he's look like he's on some sort of drug. Or he's got a nifty infection. Either or. Just give me one quick second and I'll continue what I'm doing. Alright, click here, get it. And we got this trippy look going on. Now, you, you can pretty much put this anywhere. Like on his hands. Scroll down. scar. Works really well. Now, if you want a really detailed one, lock that. That way when you get in, you've got a super detailed scar compared to the old one. Oh, it detailed up too when you change the resolution. Good, that's starting to work now at least. And it works really, really well to give the impression that he has a cut. So let's go up. Again, I'm going to change this. Okay. Let it re render itself.
anyway, remember, you could always clean up your mess when you want. And it also helps to blend the scars in sometimes. So I'm going to clear up this side of his face. So this method is also perfect for an infection scene. Um, say you want an infection instead. You go to particles and we're going to select organic spread. And that wipes it all away. I forgot that I have to go to the paint one. It doesn't exactly work out the way you want it to, trust me. Let's try and keep that alpha. Still a long way to go, but at least you can make the red skull a lot easier. Just change his base color of his skin to red. And you got, you know, where is it? Detail. These shadows are gonna just set a height to that. I put that up there. It's probably not going to affect much. AO. Base color, base color. Oh. It's his face. I think I just saw his face right here. Look at that. There you go. Now your character has scars. Some areas might be a little weirder than others. But nonetheless, it works. I oh. gotta exit the log for one second and we need to get out of these brushes. Also, you can add scratches. Kind of like that. Just dig in a bit. Like that. And... Let's turn the size down. You could also, if you have the right alpha, give him um, age lines, or if he's been in the sun too long, or if he's got a horrible disease. Give him spots. Lots and lots of spots. Well, if you can tell, the point is I'm not trying to make him look good. I'm trying to make him look diseased. Really, really needed to. We can always invert. Then create craters instead. So that invert button comes very well in handy. And we can do this. 
Looks like he's missing his skin. You gotta blend that in a little bit. That's easy to do. Let me just go here. Go to this. Make sure the hardness is down right about here. Should grab this brush. Change the size a little. actually do it to all these scars so it looks like they're trying to heal a bit. partially destroyed. Trust me, I have enough of them to know. So, as you know in Substance Painter 1.6, the update included smooth 4K painting, and it works. Yay, it's done! Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoy. Um, close three, I'm going to go. Pop this in here real quick. Just a pirate doesn't always keep his clothes clean. There we go. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you have a good day. And I'm going to try to do more substance painting videos as I learn more and more and more. And this is getting really, really fun to paint this guy. Like, I'm going to destroy all of his leather. I'm going to make him really aged eventually. And you should, guys should definitely have a good day. Okay? Or night.